Pues diles qué, qué episodio es, güey. ¿Qué pasó, pinches manitas y manita? La chingar a su madre todos. Mira, güey. Y que viva rock. Aquí estamos con Leti, y el Duno y el, el Víctor. Víctor. Y el pinche Víctor. Sí. El macizo. <risa> el que te piso. ¡Ey! <risa> ¿Episodio 35? 34. No, 34. La vez que dijiste que era 35, oh, 34. 34. 34. Episodio 35, bienvenido. 34. 34. Bienvenido a episodio 34. 34. Oh, yeah, chingada su madre. Yeah. Uh, I want to tell you guys about my outfit. It looks like I'm about to make spread. But in high school, all the cool girls wore gray sweatpants. Like gray sweatpants and the guys did too. And I was never allowed to because it was cholio. So today I was at Zara and they had these. No, I was, in, I was at H&M and they had these sweatpants. And then I was like, oh my God, I got to wear them. And I got to wear them to the pod. I look lucky. Look, I'm I'm from a women's facility, but fuck it, that. <laughs> Fresh out. Yeah. Fuck it, that. Whoa, whoa. Well, fuck it, show them the sandals too. Okay. Why you at it? Uh, I don't think they got those at the women's facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they done. <laughs> but yeah. You do look so like yeah, you, you just got look, released and you're right? ready to go pick up your I kid. Like you're like jail bay. Like you're in a like jail bay. <laughs> you look like you're in like a halfway house. Like, like yeah, halfway house. Getting my life together, dog. <laughs> but don't test me. Yeah. Don't touch me. Look, you look like you're going to go viral on El Facebook. El Facebook. I'll bail you out, baby girl. Mm -hmm. As long as baby I get a girl. modeling contract out. How much is your bail, baby girl? <laughs> All right, can we get, can we talk about Glendo Gary? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Glendo Gary. I feel like I have to take a lot of jokes about him because I'm also from Glendo. Yeah. But he is one of Fools Gone Wild's latest He's the like, next stars. star. Yeah. My husband sends me videos of him 24-7. Like, <laughs> how many of these did you date back in the day? Oh, you were <laughs> clown on you? And then, first of all, this guy's not even from Glendo. It's just it has a big Armenian population. So he's Armenian, and they're like, oh, must be. Yeah. He's actually from Pasadena. Yeah. I don't think he's funny. I get why guys think he's funny. Well, actually, I don't. Why do guys think he's funny? It's just he's a very bold individual. Hmm. Yeah. Like, Vic, you want to do your impersonation of he's Glendo just, Gary, a.k.a. He's just Mr. so over Pasadena. the top. Yeah, he's just so over the top with, like, he's um, probably one of the horniest people on Instagram today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My that, and that's saying a lot. quotes Glendo G Gary. What does he say? Baby girl. Yeah. That, that dumb <laughs> shit. Baby girl. Yeah. Well, what did he say right now with the video we're watching? He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I'm filled with love and passion like Tupac, girl. <laughs> And he's like got a crazy And view. it always starts like a little bit romantic and then it ends very weird. Like very graphic very and graphic. like, yeah, he gets too, he's yeah. like, let me cover you with my love and drench you. Yeah. Like, like well, it's too much. It's I too much. I want to go home and have rough sex with you, baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you, do girls like when guys call them like baby girl and mamas and shit? Yes, I like, I like baby girl, baby doll. Jorge just calls me babe, but like all of that stuff is cute. I be saying mamas. Princess, all of that. I've never said princess, but... Try it. I, I princesa. Princesa? Yeah. yeah. But the princess is when I talk to you guys about somebody. I'm wow, not finna... you never tell her. She's a princesa? Uh, nah, I haven't told her yet. I feel like you have to be creative. Like, you know, that's my little chic and nugget right there. Chic and nugget. <laughs> that was... That's cringe. That's fucking corny. That's so bad. Give, a dollar. Give a dollar. Give uh, <laughs> a dollar. Hold on. I think that's, that's, I think that's five dollars. Are you eating? Are you eating chicken nugget? Fuck, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> It's because she had like a heart shaped chicken nugget. Fucking more like a chicken finger. <laughs> <laughs> she had a heart shaped. A heart shaped. <laughs> A heart shaped chicken nugget. Okay. You guys missed her right now, but she was in the back like chicken nugget. <laughs> and then? And then I was like, yeah, you're my little chicken nugget. Oh, oh my god, I'm so bad. Alright, that's five dollars here. Yeah. That's worth it. <laughs> wow, chicken nugget. Big, big boy said, when you're in love, everything's delicious, and you just proved it to me. Facts. Because I don't even fuck with chicken nuggets like that. But you fuck with chicken nugget. <laughs> my little chicken nugget. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> if she's a chicken nugget, is she the one that looks like an L or the one that's like a potato? <laughs> no, it's the one that looks like a heart. I know, but we don't all get the heart ones. Where did you get heart chicken nuggets? I literally have a picture of a heart chicken nugget. Send it to us. Send it to yeah, send it to us. <laughs> so, cause I want to know where the fuck you found that and why didn't you frame McDonald's. it? McDonald's. Mutated meat, obviously. Yeah. Mutated, mutated meat. Mutated meat, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Chicken nuggets. Wow. Yeah, chicken nuggets. <laughs> 
So you have to. Hey, it looks like he has the nicknames down. Remember, he was Googly Bear. <laughs> Googly Bear, Chicken Nugget. Chicken Nugget. <laughs> chicken Nugget is crazy. Really. You've never had an extra like nickname or. I've had like fucked up nicknames for like the girl I was the girl that was once the love of my life. Tell me about it. Like I remember, like one of the first times we hung out, she stepped on shit, and then I listen, listen, and that was I, your chicken nugget, no, your chicken no, nugget. And then and then like she like I did, I thought she expected me to react like oh my god like and I just got a laugh attack. <laughs> so like every time I see her like across court, I'll be like shitty girl, <laughs> like, just super. Like, and that was your girl. And that was that was, that was the love of my life. Oh, shitty girl. girl. But I just like I see her be like shitty girl. <laughs> I used to be like, or like, like City Girl? But yeah, City like Girl? City. No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. That was before City Girl. Oh, that was before City Girl? Oh, okay. But you know, like, like, I remember, like, so my brother in law, like, his name is Martin, so his homie used to call him Chardon. Like, <laughs> or, like, just shit like that. Like, mine wasn't, like, intimate, like, you know, like, yeah. and the homie shit was, like, Shigan Nagi. Like, yeah. like, I would just hear him be like, City Girl, she'd be like, fuck you. Like, she didn't like the nickname. Of course. But 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 it meant a lot to us, you know what I mean? Right. Like, you stepped on shit and I made fun of you and you thought I was gonna react a different way. Love that for you. Yeah, what about you? Um, I call Jorge Corazon. Like that's that's my, nice. That's him on my phone and all of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, what about you, Maximo? Uh, mine's a Strawberry Jam. Get yeah? the fuck out. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Strawberry Jam. It's, so, okay, it's wait, an inside who's, joke. Who's who? It's an inside joke. Okay, but who's who? Who's Strawberry Jam? Like, are Her. you? Or no, it was, it was because we were at a drive through and... I don't know what was going on, and she like screamed at the girl like strawberry jam. And I don't know why we found this so fucking funny. Oh yeah, see that's like that's it, cool. It that a comes from like Wait, a real place. Inside jokes. Yeah. yeah. Wait, were you guys together when she got the heart? The chicken nugget shaped as a heart. We were on the phone. Oh, yeah, she was. Uh, yeah. Oh, on she's like, oh, I feel it. Oh, yeah. Shape. We're on the phone. And that sucks. It wasn't really intimate, then, huh? <laughs> no. <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chicken nugget. Where's the princess? She chilling. I got two of them waiting. Oh uh, no, nah. waiting to see who's the one. <laughs> we are recording on two twenty two twenty two. Those twenty, those twenty, those twenty, those. Sounds like a full on blown number, huh? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Has it been a lucky day for either of you? I've actually had a very productive day. I did an interview in the morning. I filmed the. A pilot, food review thing I'm doing. I know Jumper nice. with AD, and then I'm here now. Thank you. It's been a pretty regular day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regular Tuesday. Yeah. That's it. I have to worry. What, what about are you doing? Work, work, sleep, and work again. I got two naps in, though. Two naps. Yeah, two That's naps. two. Two naps. Two twenty-two naps. Two two twenty-two naps. What would it be? <laughs> you already have two girls. You can't say that. Uh -huh. Two parents. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, don't <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't say that it. was good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, two parents. I think two parents. Is, I think that's dope. <laughs> Look at you guys. You guys gotta call mommy and daddy <laughs> and tell them how day went at work today. <laughs> Big, if you could have two of anything, what would it be? Two girls. Um, no, definitely not. Um, twins. Twins. Twin I want to have twins, kids. yeah. Wow. Wow. Because you only have to deal with the girl pregnant once. You know what I'm saying? Oh, two birds and one stone. Two birds, one stone. You know? What about you? Um, if I could have two of anything. I didn't think this one for myself. Two me's. Mm. So you can do multiple things at one once. Work, one works yeah, at power, one works at brown bag. <laughs> Stop splitting my time. No, one holds what he the one holds what we see though. Because they are definitely yeah. like both Facts. on me like koalas. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's crazy. Good. That's good. I like that. Yeah. All right, let's get into some business, okay? Don't you know I'm local? Hank the Tank. Have you guys heard of him? It's not a guy. It's not a frat boy. It is an actual 500-pound bear that has been roaming around the streets of lake tahoe i think he's broken into how many is it 33 uh, documented 33 cases documented cases Holy of fuck. burglaries which is basically him going into people's homes eating their trash and doing what bears do right but now they have they want to either euthanize him which means put him to sleep um, relocate him to another mountain where he doesn't even know where to go or put him in like a sanctuary those are kind of like the options up for grabs for Hank the Tank. How do we feel do about we, that? Do we know how old is Hank the Tank? Mm. By any chance? I don't know how old he is. I just know he's 500 pounds. 
Hang the tank looks like a fucking maniaco, fool. Yeah. yeah. The fact that it, <clears throat> his big ass is just going into houses is super fucking scary. I get why he's scary, but especially if there's no cases. If there's this many break-ins, but there's no cases of injury, there's no cases of him mauling somebody. Like, to me, it shows he's just after food, y'all. Like, he's just looking for food. How is it a burglar if he's from there? Facts. <laughs> it's like, yo, I was here first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all built on my shit. Yep. I'm just trying to, you, you know. You know how we say, like, we didn't cross the border, the border crossed us. Yeah, that's like how Californians yeah. say that. That's how he feels. That's how he feels. They're they're trying to euthanize him for so being a bear. I didn't come to y'all houses. Y'all houses came to me. <laughs> they're like he's acting wild. No, he's acting like a fucking bear. bear. <laughs> These are bear like activities. When, These are normal bear activities. That's what I'm saying. When Siegfried and Roy, when that the lion like attacked the mm -hmm. the, the, the human, or, yeah, mm -hmm. whatever the tiger, they were like, oh my god, like he got out of hand. No, he was acting like a fucking tiger. It was tiger. out of hand when he was prancing around <laughs> with the whole fucking show. Like this that is was nature, out of pocket. Actually, what he's doing? Yeah, he was being normal. Yeah, that fool's just, he's active, way. Mm -hmm. I like Hector Tank. His, I, I like how they always have cool names for wild animals. Like? Like, like, the, like, uh, like, Harambe. Like, his name was just <laughs> super different. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he, and like, Hank the Tank, like. There's going to be some merch made of him, like, yeah. very There's soon. for sure, like, and if you guys put him to sleep, I'm going to be back. He should be our, our California mascot. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a California bear. Yeah. We steal a lot of things. Yeah. We do. And He's the border, LA mascot. And, and, the, Los Angeles. and the border crossed him. Facts. The, he is. Yeah. He's a California. He's a representation of all Hilarious. of us in reality. You feel me? Stealing to who? Oh, my God. This land was already stolen. You know how, how do you guys remember when like a, a Cheeto looked like Harambe and then that person got like a lot of money? Mm. So there, someone found a Cheeto that looked like Harambe, that like, looked like the gorilla Harambe. And then they ended up selling it. It looked like a gorilla. It, did, it didn't look like shit. Like yeah. you just made believe that it looked like him, right? Ever since then, my dad goes through the Cheetos, anything he has. And he's like, mija, look, this looks like a nopal. Mija, look, this looks like corn. Mija, look, put this on eBay. It looks like a door. And it's like, yes, it's a fucking Cheeto. But like, ever since, like now this guy is looking for the next, like, he's trying to find the Vita de Guadalupe in a Cheeto form. So oh, sell it. remember yeah. when people were saying they saw him, uh, they saw La Virgen on tortillas? Yeah, or like Jesus and toast? on bread and shit. Yeah. That's Which I believe far. they're everywhere. But. I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. Poor Hank the Tank. What are you guys doing if Hank, the, if Hank the Tank is just looking for food at your house? Facts. So, see, that's what I was thinking. We're all cool with him, but what if we are one of those property owners? How would we feel? Like, clearly it says he's done property damage. So. Yeah. I'm an asshole, but I'm not shooting Hank the Tank. Yeah. I'm a just like, animal control, come get Hank the Tank. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do, fight the fucking bear? He's going to bite me or something. Yeah. And when he bites me, he's self defense I attacked him. I, I, I'm, I'm not mad at the wow. homie, you feel me? <laughs> You know what I mean? You can't be mad at Hank the Tank if he comes at me. Like, I think they're more scared of us than we're scared. I know that's like a big saying with animals and shit. Yeah. No, nah, I, I fuck with Hank the Tank, but he better not get in my fucking face. <laughs> or tell you that I'll, drop that <laughs> I'll drop that motherfucker. I'll drop that motherfucker. There's this one that's like, if you see me in a fight with the bear, pray for the bear. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. El Valiente. <laughs> <laughs> what if you walk outside and Orjito and Hank the Tank are just kicking it? Like Hank, like Jorito's on top of Hank the Tank, and Hank the Tank isn't attacking Jorito. What are you doing? I would feel like Jorito would be punking yeah. Hank the Tank. Yeah, me too. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, be writing it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I Hank. No. Stand down. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. And Hank the Tank and Jorito met. He was in. He was in our area. Yeah. Our area would low key be a place there that would you be. Could That's see where Hank the Tank would be. Sucks. <laughs> Hang the time would have to go through plenty of of dog of stray dogs and stray cats to come to my pad. <laughs> He's gonna have to just squabble half the cat hoods. <laughs> hey fool, be through chat a big ass bear walking by. Mm -hmm. Facts. If he can make it past the 7 Eleven, then you know he can make it past anything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, shout out to Hank the Tank. We believe in you. We you were just in being you. yourself. Free the free the homie. He's not locked up yet, but he will be. Um we have this new segment called Brown Pride. 
And that's where we show love to someone that's Latino that's really doing it. And the first person we want to big up is Juan Toscano. He placed second at the dunk contest this past weekend. And he is on the Warriors, right? Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the Warriors. and he's actually from Oakland, too. Wow. So he's, that's even a doper he's story. he's half black, half Mexican. Yep. And yeah. he read for his Mexican side. Yeah, man, he he's had, a black Yeah, he yeah. had his, his Kobe's. Yes. Um, that were with, decked out with the flag. His yeah. Jersey. jersey was decked out with the flag. Yeah. I just love how he took that um, that moment to really, like, be on. Like, he's on a national stage, mm -hmm. and he m took that moment to be really prideful right. in, like, his Mexican heritage. You know what I'm saying? Because he could have just done anything and just worn his regular warrior shit, but he chose to, like, bring some awareness and, like, a platform to be like, yo, I'm Mexican, and look, I'm dunking a basketball. Look at me. Ah, I'm the Facts. only one that could do it. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I the homie put me on him. He was like, "Bro, there's this player from the Warriors," yeah. and I'm like, "Get the fuck out!" And at first, I thought, you know how people be like, it's always like a super dope thing when it's obviously like basketball is more of a black and white sport, mm -hmm. and it's rare. It's, I mean, I think it's probably yeah. maybe yeah. he's probably like very few, a handful, yeah, a handful. Yeah. And he happened to be uh, like he's actually mixed. Mm -hmm. His grandfather actually gra graduated, fucking migrated, immigrated from. Mexico? Yeah, from from each other, kind of everything. So I'm nice. like, damn, that's dope. Like he's doing this shit. He rapped. He didn't have like I used to. He didn't have to rap. Yeah, and he's fucking dunking in basketball. I don't know any any Mexicans past six three. Yeah, fact. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fact. Shout out him. Well, that's clearly probably his other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. We he probably did, brought him down yeah, a few inches. He, he probably would have been 6'7". Not going to lie. Us Mexicans yeah. held him back. All right. But then you know what was also cool? The fact that he, uh, I think when he first signed to the Warriors, I just know there's a picture of him with the flag, like carrying the flag. Yeah. Like, just to represent that, wow, I'm doing this for, for this part of my ethnicity. So big yeah. up to you. Because I, I, believe, I believe he, uh, he was playing on the Warriors, the seasons that they were, like, really bad mm. when they were just playing, like, D-League players because mm. um, Steph and Clay and Draymond got hurt. So he got, like, an opportunity, and he shined. Yeah, and really he was, like, a himself. local talent. You know what I'm saying? He was from Oakland. He tried out for them and stuff. Yeah, so, but he started his career in Mexico. In Mexico. Yeah. Which is, was crazy. So, yeah, he's had a crazy story, and he's he's made it. He's persevered. He gets regular minutes on the Warriors. Now he's part of the rotation. Man. And, and, yeah. and he's... Dunking on fools. Yeah. yeah, and he got selected. He got an invitation, you know, to the dunk contest, which was, yes, they said it's the worst one ever, but, worst dunk you know what I'm saying? We got to start us. somewhere. Not we got to start somewhere. We, we feel me? Feel me? Yeah. And then, and I could imagine him dunking on somebody and being like, toma. <laughs> like, instead of, you know, being like a, you, you little, you little. He's like a toma. Like, you feel me? Like, that's fire. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like, where was you feel me? Like, <laughs> you, think, you think he told LeBron, like, chupame la way. Chupame la way. You feel me? Like, like I think I think I, I like well, I like next time you, you shoot a jumper you gotta hit it with the Toscano you know what I mean like oh. like I just want to yeah. see like I wonder if he well, likes not yet darling like, he's still Kobe what? Like, Kobe spoke Spanish true 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 he was like like, right like like I want to know if Juan Toscano eats like chilaquiles you feel me I'm sure he does Facts. I'm pretty sure he does why we want to get to know you Facts you may be the tallest one in the room but we <laughs> <laughs> get to know you. And I think just like like you go out and you play ball. My husband loves going out to play ball. Yeah. And then even he's like, dude, when you're in the park, then and the little like the little quote unquote bicep fools come play. Like those motherfuckers get it on. Like it's low key a show. Yeah, them fools how they, they ball. They low key, ball. right? It's not fools just they, soccer, dog. Yeah. On the court, fools, too. they shoot the ball like soccer the mano. Like. <laughs> and it goes in. They, it goes in. The bank is always open. How? <laughs> like this? That's yeah. how I shoot. Low key. Yeah. yeah. Your bicep. I am bicep. <laughs> and they're your height. Facts. Yeah. No, nah, it's some shit. Where, did you see when when Lonzo Ball was um when he was first starting? Yeah, they were was, like they were like oh he he doesn't know how to shoot. He shoots like a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't yeah, say they that. Didn't say that. Oh, it was funny fuck. as fuck. Juan Toscano for sure. Like <laughs> he. Uh, what I'm saying is I love that for him, bro. Yeah. But the Paisa for sure be putting up like, and then they always want to bet. Like, she goes, oh, that's me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And then it's like, okay. And then you're thinking like, we were born in America. Mm -hmm. We 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 know this. And they're whooping your ass because they're running. They're killing you by Hell running. Yeah. Like, it's just fucking outrageous. Shout out to Juan Toscano. I'm happy yeah. for you. And you know what? There's more, there's more Mexicans coming. There's another guy. He plays for UCLA. Nice. Triple J. Oh, I follow Triple him on IG. Yeah, Triple J. That's what they did good in the March Madness. Yeah, he did really good in March Madness. He's probably going to be in the league in the next year or two. He goes to UCLA. He's playing at UCLA right now. 
I'm trying to get his exact name. Wow. Uh, I follow his him. Name is like, awesome. I think his so, name is Triple J. Big up to you, Juan Toscano. We know it happened a little bit ago, but we wanted to just give you that love. Um, I just, um, Juan or Angie or Jose or Josh, um, can you guys check about Canelo? Because I think there may have been some confirmations on fights, and I want to talk about that. Oh, yeah. Um, but... Today, we saw that a party bus got stolen. Of course, out here, it's definitely, like, police pursuits and, like, chases. Low-key is something we pay attention to. And we already had the big rig that got stolen. Mm-hmm. We were like, well, why the fuck here. did the big rig get stolen? Yeah. It's like, what's next? They stole a party bus during the day. And then the they, the party bus crashes. And so, clearly, the, the, the chase is over. And a white lady comes out like some Ozark bitch came out. Like, I thought this was, like, one of Ruth Langmore's cousins or some shit. And I don't know if this was her pants or she had long-ass socks. But those, like, those were high-ass socks. She was down. She was oh, down she as was fuck. Down, obviously, yeah. down as fuck. Sock check. They should have stock checked her before they let her borrow the keys. <laughs> I have never been in a party bus, but I don't know anything about a party bus that would make me want to steal it. Is it a party while you're driving? Like, I wonder, like, if she was, like, driving and he was, like, all the crazy shit out there. <laughs> nah, if she has the lights in the back. Going. A bad man, a bad man, a bad boy, a bad man. Yeah, there's always a pole in the party bus and there's always drinks. Wait, mm-hmm. imagine being in the back of a party bus. And you're wondering if she's just going super fast. And, and all of a sudden you realize you're in a pursuit. Damn. That and you thought it was the flashing lights of the well, party like, bus. But you're drunk by then, so you're just like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. going to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> His experience is super fucking 40X. Yeah. And then all of a sudden just the driver's like, I'm not going back to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for them. Yeah. That's wild. Like, if you're going to go out, go out, go out with a bang in a party. Right. What's next? Yeah, I, yeah my literally thing is, what's like, next? literally, what's next? A tank? What was stolen before? I know it was, I know it was, uh, it was definitely the big rig. Was there a plane or something? There was something else that was stolen that we were like, oh, shit. Oh, no, no, that shit crashed in Pacoima. The plane crashed, right? It wasn't was stolen. But people are just, like, one-upping. Oh, no, it was a... It was an ambulance. It was it was something like oh my goodness? If somebody stole an ambulance, legends. What about we've talked about it what before? If the, on like, the, on what the if what if the metro bus has the metro bus ever been like commandeered? Like the two or like the wow, like a metro. Like imagine somebody's like move, bitch, and just like, gets in the driver's seat. What of the if bus? somebody stole like the green line, the blue line? But so yeah, down. But so far, we're not encouraging anybody yeah. to do this. <laughs> people are one. Yeah, it's no it. longer just Ultimas and people Civics. People are just trying to play Grand Theft Auto. Fucking facts. People are trying to get as many stars getting... as they can, apparently. And and what I like, not what I like about. It. Okay, let me <laughs> let me rephrase that real quick. What I like about it is that they're not like, yeah, they stole the car. Maybe they're taking a couple lights, and they shouldn't do that because you can hit anybody. Mm-hmm. But I like how they're not really doing any shit. Like it's not like they're running over people on purpose. They're really just. Yeah, they're not going full GTA. Yeah, like they're just. just yeah. I think it's like a really crazy joyride. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it must be like a crazy adger- adrenaline rush or something. I don't know. I don't know how if I feel like you should go steal fucking a, a big ass fucking what's the shit that the Edgar stole? Uh, the big rig. Like yeah, like don't steal a big rig, bro. Yeah. yeah, you need a special license to control the motherfuckers. Although he did go for a very long time because those, you know, they're full of gas. Yeah, so. fuck, fucking, and and you had to wait for all the tires to be popped. Exactly. These are eighteen wheelers <laughs> you're talking about. So just FYI. Latest crazy stolen car is a party bus. Uh, you fools went to Picolandia. Yeah. How was it? it was happy for you. It was my first time ever. Shout out Duno for inviting me. You feel me? Hey. Shout out me. You feel me? I was in the building with my chic and nugget. <laughs> <laughs> you were not in the building. You were in the rancho. Yeah. Facts. Smell like shit when we were driving. It was by outside. There. Yeah. It was, it was outside. It was, it was outside. outside. We were just doing our well. Honestly, we're like we're walking down out there. You guys, we finished filming the podcast, and I was like, I got people on there. Y'all want to come? And Vic was like, she like Python music, and I'm like, yeah, come on. And at first, honestly, it wasn't gonna happen. Like I was like burned out, and then the homies were like, I noticed. I was like, oh, it might not happen anymore, but I was just like, oh, and then see. I was like, can you be ready in thirty? He's like, yeah. I picked them up. We picked up the homies and went to Picolanda and had a great time. Yeah, you sent a video in the group chat twice. Why? Vic was doing the bunny hop while they were singing banda music. Oh, okay. He just had to let it let it be known that he's... And then we got recognized by a brown bag fan. Oh, yeah. And literally, this is the most funniest thing, right? So Vic's with Chicken Nugget. He's in the back. <laughs> and the and the fan comes up to me like, Dude, I love brown bag. Oh. And he's like, I fucking love it. I'm like, Vic's right there. He goes like, Vic! And he's like, bro, but he was like, yeah. so like... He's like, Vic! Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> even spit on me a little bit. I had to be like, hey, geez. But it was all, it was dope. It was, we was going up. Shout out to Hami, yeah. Rios, you feel me? We had so much liquor. Really? It was between five of us only, really. And really, yeah. and we're like, oh, got you. we're like seven, eighteen hundred bottles, Jarrito and mineral water. And they were just constantly like, are you guys good? Like, you know, like, because, you know, like, other parties, they just, but, you know, I saw parties, they go like, are you good? Mm. You need more? Okay. And the bottle ladies, the bottle girls ain't baddies. They're doñas. Oh, yeah. shit. They're doing us, and they, you feel me? They one, got f- one of them pressed, one of them pressed him. Cause I, I didn't know, like, I'm like, oh, cause I'm not the type to like, wanna like ever freeload and shit, right? So I'm like, I'm like, oh, how much is this shit? You know, I'm pitching or how much is it for one or whatever. And then I was taking out money and then he's like, nah, boo, you good, you good. And she's like, ah, como vas a ser así? Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, oh, no. I, money. And I'm like, I, I thought she bad. didn't like, know. Just take no, cause money. I thought she didn't know that the homie hooked it up. But I mean, like, cause homie always just blesses us when we're right. there. But I thought she charged Vic, mm. and I'm like, oh, she's trying to finesse the homie right now. Which but she, she didn't should. say anything. But we, but we always leave tip, like you know, like if she's always because they're going back and forth, bringing the ice a bucket. Right. You well, feel speak me? for yourself, because I don't think Vic leaves tip. I no, no, no. Tip. He was, oh, okay. he was. That's what he was doing. He was. Okay. We were like, but I, I was turned around, and then when I seen, I was like, oh, she's trying to get the homie. Uh, but she shouldn't. Was, yeah, but then it was protective. But but it was. She thought he was. She was. I, like, I was, was being yeah. a culero. Yeah. Like I was like nah, and then and then I like all the homies still blessed her. Like you feel me? But it was just like it was a misunderstanding. Yeah. Like, uh, you know what it I mean? It was funny though because it was just like I don't know if like another person would have like pressed him like that. She was like ah, come on, yeah, yeah, like oh, she, she was like yeah. a bomb, like <laughs> yeah, I'm here on the see. And I was like oh no, and I, I apologized like thirty times yeah, to her yeah, while yeah, she was yeah. there. But and it I was, gave her money anyway. I was just like, here. Just, and we were you know? super not dressed for the occasion. How are you supposed to dress? Do you have boots? No. Do you have boots, Vic? No. I wanted some so bad, but it was too short notice. Yeah. I wanted Tejana. I want, I want the whole nine. Yeah. You feel me? But they're super dressed to have it. Like, yeah. I tried this, to be as spicy as I could. I don't think it worked. He was, he, he wore a, a super fly Chalino Sanchez shirt that has Chalino Sanchez on it. Oh, nice. Shout out Paisa Boys. Yeah, Shout out Paisa Boys. Boys. Shout out Paisa Boys. I don't know them. But Jorge got a shirt from them one time, or he like it said illegal alien, mm-hmm. and it was really dope. But I just love what they're doing. They're just being very like street culture about like our Facts. shit with our yeah. narrative. No, yeah, Pasa Boys is hard. I I have the same shirt as Vega, yeah. but I but I went there with like a hoodie, some cargos and like some babes, and the homie Daniel's there with like some dunks, and everybody's kind of looking at us walk in, but then they recognize us, so it's cool. Nice. But if we were just anybody else, I'd be like, ah. but bro, the girls they really dance. You feel me? They that what they're doing quebradita. Type of shit. I see Vic's dad's moves. I love it. They cool. They cool. They cool. I'm not. I'm not going to work on it. Terrible, but what I'm about Dunos? Great. Oh, he's yeah. He kills it. Yeah. yeah. But we already knew that. Yeah. Yeah. But see, to dance cumbia, because you're really good at cumbia. No, I still like got cumbia. Oh. I'm good at bachata. Cumbia. It's a craft. But that's different than corrido. Two fingers. It's like a craft where people could dance cumbia yeah. with two fingers, and it just blows my mind how people oh, could do that. that yeah. Like, you know, like, mm-hmm. they could do the spin. spin. Like, mm-hmm. I see some shit, like, where they do this, and then they switch the hand over the head, and yeah. I'm like, that's too elite, dog. You, but is he good at corridos and, like, pegaditas? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It makes, it, it's funny, because the girls, I feel like they don't believe him, right? Because he, mm-hmm. he was, like, you know, chopping it up, maybe or maybe not. I don't Facts. Know. Um, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then, but, like, I could tell I was it's, meeting. like, the more, yeah, the more, like, they, like, like, he's like, yeah, let's dance. And then they're like, oh, okay. They're, like, unsure. Like, oh, he probably can't even dance. And then after, they're like, oh, yeah, nah, like, I'm fucking with it. Yeah. I see his process. I see his process. I peep game. Yeah, because I be chilling. Like, I really like. Yeah. And, like, the homie Daniel can't dance. P can't dance. So I'm like, fool, you've got to learn how to dance. Because mm-hmm. it always just Who looks. Who taught you? My sisters. They always told me, like, a girl's never going to fuck with you if you don't know how to dance. Because what are you going to do, sit there and sit with her the whole night? So they would dance with you? Not really, but I'm a very good visual learner. Like, okay, like, two steps here, two steps. Like, bachata isn't that difficult. It gets difficult when you get a super fast song, mm-hmm. but you learn as you go. And, like, I like corridos. I learn because I, cause I ain't going to lie. The corridos were like, if you know how to dance corridos, you get a whole different type of mm-hmm. 
of, of little baddies, you feel me? And then if you, because obviously you could have any girl twerk on you, that's, what do you, you feel me? But I think even that has a crap. But like, when you know how to dance like banda, like, because banda and corrido are two different things. You guys got to know that. Banda's way faster and a little more fancier. And you could do the crazy shit where like, we were seeing people get picked up and yeah. move to the side over the head. I was like, okay, I'm not doing all that. I got to I gotta hit the gym a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what if I drop her in front of everybody? She not really going to fuck with me. But like, but you feel me? I, I, I could dance it enough to where I could go out with a girl and she's and I'm gonna be bored and I have to dance with another guy. Right. Facts. Wow. But yeah, we was going up. It was a good time. They got finesse for one flower for 30 bucks. You know, they be, they be getting that. Uh, so I was like, yeah. no, no, the guy came and I was like, <laughs> I put it at Vic and he had no choice. <laughs> You're like, you have to. And I was like, I'm gonna like, ah. And I forgot it in his car. Yeah. And I recycled it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's the guy. But this brings us to a great, great topic. If now that we're talking about music and bandas and corridos and just being out, the Besame Mucho concert. No me digas. No me digas. This thing is stacked. Yo. I don't know how they even can create such a fly lineup, but they're killing it with this. Every like, time I see these flyers, and shout out to Chris Crow, Ugly Primo, Ni yes. Pastel, I all like in reality they look fake. They look yeah. too good to be true every Facts. time. Shit is real. And but it's very real. I've seen, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? To like shit they throw. So yeah, it's it's super stacked. Um I can't read from here, but you guys can read it. I don't know. It's just it's just so meaningful to Los Tigres del Norte, Ramon Ayala, Los Broncos. Los Ángeles del Azul, Banda Recodo, Molotov. Los Ángeles Azules, Banda El Recodo, Bronco, Ramon Ayala, Banda Machos. Um you you liked who's the ones on the bottom? Go down a little bit. Uh, I'm um, I'm a big tri, fan of the rock stage. Sin bandera, uh, Inspector Molotov, Mago de Oz, Damn. Juanes. My dog. Wow. I told I commented uh, that this lineup smells like Fabuloso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> if and it, sure and it smelled, turned into a meme. So <laughs> if if it sure smells like Osivara tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> like, why do Is I have that to go? Los, los Rieleros del Norte? Like, Columpio? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, right? Yeah. Can you just go, like, blow it up so I could see the Los Rieleros over there? Wow. Wow, how do you yeah, feel about this, this, this lineup? This is my shit. I cannot wait. And it's at Dodger Stadium. And it's at Dodger oh. Stadium. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Take me no. out to the baile. It's in Echo Take, Parque. It's, in, it's on Sunset Boulevard. So this would be rock and espanol. This would be banda. And this would be pop. And pop. Like, Juanes is definitely like pop. You know how fast my tío called me for these tickets? Okay. You know how fast my tías <laughs> and tíos called me and I told my mom not to tell him? Wait, Elvis Crespo's on here. Elvis oh, Crespo. Shit. Sonora Dinamita? No. So, yeah, Sonora Dinamita. Go um, top left, bottom to your left. Boom. Top left, bottom. Right there. Boom. Oh, Sonora. <laughs> wow. wow. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on, but when Suavemente drops, yeah, that shit is gonna be like. Okay, like, you guys, what are we doing, and how are we getting there, and what date is it? Is December? December second, okay. third. third. December third. December third. Saturday, third. December third. They're how are we doing out, this? By the way. Oh fuck! Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, not for us, but you know. Yeah, yeah. But this, this is how crazy it was, right? So I showed my mom this flyer, and she looked at me with this face like. She doesn't really care about much shit, but she was like, I say a bar, right? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I might, cause I, cause I don't know if I wanna, cause I feel like this just, it's just right. gonna. It could be something you enjoy, but then it could also be something you take your mom to. Like you just gotta decide whether you want to. What kind yeah. of vibe you want to be on. What experience you want. Like I might go with my mom and just separate, like go do your thing. Yeah. yeah. And then so I'll just bring you. your mom with someone so that they can do their yeah. thing. Yeah, but it's yeah. just. Your mom and her tia. And her tia. Yeah. yeah, but I just wonder how you, it's just very hard to choose from where where you're gonna be, especially for my mom, because not a lot of people that listen to Los Tigres del Norte. Wow, Los Yonix is gonna be on here. Not Los. gonna lie, my dad really loves Los Yonix, and I don't I don't even know who they are, but he loves them. Yeah, like I'm very excited wow, for my mom. This is crazy. My mom saw the rock one, and I think she was like, when I was young, this like, is it. You think like, you think your mom will mosh? Yeah, but she still moshes to this day, and That's she's hard. 48. That's fire. She ends up, wow. This is just a crazy lineup. 
Yeah. Who are you most excited? Who who would who are you most excited to see on that line? Not gonna lie, I am very, 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 very excited to see Vanda Machos. Like I feel like they are Angie, what did you call them? La madre de todas las bandas. Hey, so... La madre de todas las bandas, pinche naca. <laughs> but banda is not naca. I know, but the way she said it. Because uh, you know the OC. No, you don't. La madre de todas las bandas, Angie. <laughs> no, yes, banda machos, leña de piru is one of my favorite. Actually, let me I'll show you guys real quick. Oh my, oh my god, here she comes. Yes, Banda Machos is literally, you know how I knew that I love them? I have a playlist called Nopalita. Like, it's my playlist. <laughs> I, I did. I, it's like the one that makes me feel Mexican as fuck, yeah. right? And while I was adding all the songs, I just knew them by name. And it all happened to be Banda Macho songs. And I was like, oh my fucking god, like, I love these fools. Like, I don't know. I like, don't you love them before you knew you love them. Facts. Like, I just knew I love this music. Like, okay, hold on. First, there's Leña de Piru. Dad, this is really cool. Let me move forward. Oh, yeah. No? I know it. I know it. <laughs> All right. That's going to go up. And then, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you guys, hold on. And then there's... It's them, yeah. It's Machos. But then there's this one. This is La Culebra. Even if you don't know how to dance it, just move your whole body. What do you have to do it? Yo, dog. Let these women be on a thousand I'm when gonna, they're I'm playing. Buy, just know I'm gonna have boots and a tejana for that day for sure. Fuck yeah, we need to go like a banda. <laughs> we need to do banda brown bag. Oh, oh, fucking hard as We need the wow. fucking shit with the. We should dress in the flyer colors or something too. But we need like a fuck jackets with the little shits that. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look! I could be the blue one. You could be the red one. Then you could be the yellow ones. Okay. Okay, so yeah, banda machos is my shit. That's gonna be dope. What That's fire. Shit? I'm excited to see El Tri. El Tri. My mom's seen them plenty of times, but it's just something like super that I know means just, it's just super like meaningful. Like there's, I've been hearing them my whole life. I hated them when I was younger, but as mm -hmm. my music taste came in, it was just like, oh my fucking God. Yeah. He's talking about like Las Piedras Dorando. Like that's one of my, let me play this shit. Yeah. I'm gonna show off, I'm gonna show off two. <laughs> You but guys, we really need to plan an outfit. Like, I, if there's someone that makes this type of outfit, like banda outfits, like hit us up. Like, yeah. we, they're custom boots. Like, yeah. we can't just go with regular boots. You know how? Remember they did the Air Force into the boots. Air Force we need Blanks? to do some no. shit. Cortezes with boots. Cortez into boots. No. That'd be too crazy. No. <laughs> Come on. Shingle bling. Shingle bling shit. Like, I'm just ready to listen to this shit. <laughs> Que viva rock. Que viva rock. Que chingar a tu madre. And, and he has this thing where he says. Chulas. I'm down. I'm fucking down, dog. <laughs> oh, send, send oh, Jose that picture. Wait. Yeah. And then, and then. Angie, please, can we design some type of fucking banda shit for yeah. us? Yeah. Yes. That would be so dope. But yeah, El Tri is just so meaningful. Like, my mom's like, ah, yeah, fui a los visto mucho tiempos. My mom was a little more excited for, like, the the the, the segment you're excited for. Like, like because just because she's seen all these rocks, because I'm right. much of a fan. But El Tri has this thing where, like, every time he's in concert, he goes, like, vos de puto el que no cante. And then everybody just sings, and it's just so fucking meaningful. And he has a lot of dope songs, like, do, 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 do. I don't know. Yeah. El Tri is for me. I'm all the way for it. Todo me sale mal and all the extra shit. I love that. I'm with it. And you, Victor? Juanes. Juanes? As a fly ass romantico myself, oh, you feel okay. me? Um, <laughs> Play as a Juanes song, Obviously, Vic. like, you know, Camisa Negra. Mm. Oh, Adios, my. Le pido. Dun, dun, oh, my dun, God. That's where all the fresas are going to be at, huh? Yeah. I'm right, right there. Adios, le pido. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but that's not Camisa up. Negra, you know that, right? <laughs> What? That's not Camisa Negra. That's Adios Le Pido. I know. Oh, it's two you, different you songs. Said, Are you going to change your fit when that song comes out? Tengo la camisa. Yeah, like, I'm going to have you... a shirt, a black shirt under. 
Mm. And I'm gonna just do a short e, review. I need to show Mucha you guys my. I need to show you guys my calendar. I did. I did a Juanes song. No way. I, I did Camisa Negra. Oh, that's e. all right. Hi, that shit is like one of my favorite. That shit is meaningful. That shit came out when I was in like eighth grade, and yeah. it was just going up on the radio every day. It was my grandma's favorite song, and she passed away the year I think that it was like really popping. Oh, wow. or that song. It my mom can't bop. hear that song. <laughs> she yeah. will fucking. It was a bop. Crying. Amazing song. Yeah, Incredible some people song. had it as a ringtone and shit. What like, is on their next um, stuff? Uh, I haven't heard it in a while, but what's the song about? Him having a black shirt for real? No, yeah. I, 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 I think it's like, like I'm wearing a black shirt because my soul is black. It's like a little bit deep. Yeah, but it's just all so joyful. Yeah, but it's just like it's a bop. And then it's just... come on, come on, come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Freaky, Freaky with the diggy diggy. <laughs> Freaky diggy like Vicky Vicky. <laughs> wow, this wow. this festival is amazing. I'm, I'm excited to see like the demographic, like what kind of people are gonna be here. Like I said, like my uncle, he never asked me for anything, right? right. And shout out to my tia, but he watches the podcast. Um, him and my tia Claudia, and then he called me. He's like, yo. I never ask you for anything. Can oh. you get us tickets? Can you hook us up? We're about to buy some, but I don't know. Maybe we thought you posted it. Maybe you have some hookups or whatever. I'm like, yeah, let me, you know, let me talk to my people. So I hit up Ugly Primo. And I was like, yo, can I get like two, four tickets, something, you know? Wow. They were so excited. They're like, really? That's it? Like, what do we owe you? I'm like, nothing, dude. Fucking love you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I feel my mom. I might go with her, but I'm still at that age where I don't like kicking it with her. Like, I don't like drinking uh, with my mom. No, I like, get what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Mean, like, like yeah. if you're going to be a ridicula, go be a ridicula by yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, I'll go be a ridicula. When you get a, when you get a little bit older, it'll, hey, like, you'll close the gap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like, my oldest sister be with my mom. I'll be with my mom, though. So. Yeah. I'll be like, bro, you're going to take care of her? That's your mom. You live with her still. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, all right, fuck her, watch. I, yeah, I guess I don't kick with my parents like that necessarily. It's a little, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You know, like holidays. Your mom can't hang though, too. Like, yeah, no, like, no, even she when could. she went to like our live event, like, I'm sure you didn't go together. No, yeah. Right? But no, she's hella cool. Mm-hmm. I kick it with more, more of my tias and my tios now. Like, Got we, we be getting lit. Yeah. Feel me? Uh, like, lit or lit? Let's do lit. CNR. Carne Asada Nino Rival with the three that we chose. So, with Banda Machos. El Tri and Juan is clearly we're gonna love our own that we chose. Oh, so the, so so the real important thing is who we choose as a carnaza and rival. As and a rival. rival. Okay, I will go first. Okay. El Tri Nino. Yes. Panda Machos Carnazada. Juan is rival. Why you don't like love or what? You don't like black shirts? <laughs> I just <laughs> Banda Machos gonna be having me like. <laughs> 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 Can we play one more time just so we can turn it real quick? Yes, I'll turn it real quick. Turn me up real quick one time. Oh, I'm gonna go stupid right now. You're not even you know. What are they even talking about? I don't know. Fucking snake. That's what I love about fucking Mexican music. Like, when you explain that shit to other people, it's like, they're just rapping about fucking snake. Well, a lot of times it's like, that's like a... That's like, probably a, um, an expression. Or like la vaca, moo. It's like the cow, moo. Yeah. El gato volador, yeah, the, the flying cat. <laughs> or like, yeah, el baile del fever, yeah, the dance or, for pagers. Or like, <laughs> like, or like eres golosa. Golosa, like, it was like, golosa. Golosa. But it was, the song like is the making fun of big girls, but yeah. I'm like, but it was so catchy. Everybody yeah. was like, Call- he called her an alboniga, and then, yeah. <laughs> fuck. Golosa. Damn. What wow. time I told the girl she was a golosa? You're... She called Why? me a goloso. Okay. So it was even, right? Yeah, it was even. Okay. Yo, I want to know who's DJing this shit. Like, can, who's we, it? I, can we do Jay Valentino. Like, For who's... sure. Jay Valentino, I think it's... I want to know who's like DJing. Like, what quinceañera like DJs what? are popping DJ? out to, you know? Likes. The dude that DJs La Boom. <laughs> <And> Leonardo's. Leon... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so de- such deep cuts. Such deep like cuts. Such people, deep like cuts. when you know, you know. Oh you're my God, God Leonardo! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pepe's bar. Fuck. People that used to DJ at potreros like, for sure. It's Margarita oh, wow. Joe's. All that shit. Potreros. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. The Panama Joe's DJ for sure gonna be a. That food just got a flashbacks. <laughs> Maximum one like this, look. Good old days. Margarita Jones. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, Margarita Jones? Yeah. Freaky. What you doing, Margarita Jones? Oh, oh, shit. Which golosa? <laughs> Which albondiga? <laughs> Which glotona? <laughs> Which gato voló with you? Gata, gata, gata. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
That's fucking awesome. I, I love wait. our culture. Shout yeah, I can't wait. Shout out. What about you? So what was your Catalina rival? Uh, mine is going to be... Uh, rival is going to be El Tri, sorry. That's okay. I don't listen to, I don't I listen to rock yeah. too much. Um, Nino is going to be Juan, Juanes, for sure. And then... Carne asada for sure, banda macho. Yo, banda macho is gonna turn the yeah. fuck up. Let's go. That shit goes up. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Uh, oh, I would. Oh, I would give anything to be in the trailers right there. Yes. Imagine being in the middle of all these. Fools. All the perico. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? No. Pimar, you guys are lying, perico. How much bolsitas are gonna be sacando? Oh my god. Oh my god. How much bolsitas are gonna be sacados? <laughs> A lot. Wow. A lot. Do you ever think about who manages these people? Some I'm sure a lot of them are on the same. A lot of them like are under the same management. Look, go to the Banda Machos logo real quick. What is that? The person standing. Is it a pimp? Describe it. It's like a it looks, figure. It looks like, um, what was the bear's name? Hank the Tank. <laughs> Hank the tank. <laughs> but it, it has a weird hat, like a detective hat or something. No, it's literally them. Banda but why Machos. do they look like that, Angie? It's okay. one of them. And then also, what's on the O? Oh, I always like looking at logos. You know what I love about like these logos is they were all hand drawn. Yeah. You oh, that's a guitar, right? Back in the day, oh, no, like, they, wrong, really, they had to be. Is that a guitar? Maybe. There's a trumpet right there. Look, it oh, looks like the symbol for like the woman, dun. or is it the man symbol? No. Oh, is also oh, so, oh, so they just oh, made it more be. cartoonish. Oh, actually, for machos. Be. Yeah, for yeah. machos. Yeah. Oh, like I'm that a man. That's so it translates to buff. That looks like a whole bracelet. I don't know. Okay. Logos are crazy. That's hard. Oh yeah, uh, it looks like it looks like them and it like looks a like suit. a detective. Looks, looks like, like Dick Tracy. Thanks. Okay, so what about you? Um, <laughs> okay, Banda Machos is clearly gonna be Nino. My life is made if I ever see them live. I will low key want to take my family. Like, not gonna lie. I think this is I'm like go with my a I'm once in a lifetime shit for them. Like, for I'm sure. telling you, I I asked my dad like, what kind of music do you like? And he said, or Angie, you probably I, didn't you ask him? And he said Los Yonix, and we didn't know who the fuck that was, but they're Los right Yonix. there, Los Deep Yonix. Cut. And I'm like, damn, if I could make something special, all we want to do in our life for our parents is make something special for yeah. them. If I could do that for him, oh my God, that'd be amazing. I'll invite my mom too. I know she'll probably want to go to this. Hell yeah. And then um, I think I'm going to just have to go rival Juan is just because like, it makes my mom cry. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Understood. Yes. Understood. And then, <laughs> Carne Sada. El Tri. Let's go. Que vive el rock. <laughs> I, when, when they posted out like viva rock cabrones you know what I mean but man Damn, this, this is just killing it. I'm overall, so happy for this overall every band like you guys understand like okay Molotov has a has a very deep song about it's called Frijoleros and it talks about like right. how gringos and like Mexicans talk to each other and shit like yeah. Juanes we all know La Camisa Negra yeah Panda Machos like Sonora Dinamita, like even like even though when you were younger, you're like, oh my god, they're playing this. Facts. When you as you get older, this shit just everything really just starts meaning fucking. Hell yeah. I think we talked about this before, where mm -hmm. you're like, are you scared that your kids are gonna learn the same roots that you guys did? Yeah. Yeah. But I think this is like stuff like this keeps it alive for sure. Facts. Yeah, facts. Damn, this is wild. This is fucking cool. I'm Makes me want to have a quince again. I was about shit. to say this is like a like a quinceanera. Yeah, these are like the songs that we sat down while they yeah. didn't play the hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we waited for it, but damn, this is the but good shit. All our it. tias are yeah. fucking dancing. But to now if you're gonna play this jungle, I'm going. Yeah. I'm going. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, it was funny. I picked up I was doing that. Oh yeah. And chicken nugget that I was making fun of her, but I was just really in the back like this. Like. Hey. <laughs> Man, shout out this shit. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Shout out to again to um, it, sin pas er, no pastel or ni, pa ni, ni pastel. pastel, ni pastel, ugly so, primo for sure. Yeah, yeah, ugly yeah. primo. They're the ones that did um like Chris the marketing Chris. and yeah. like the promo and the flyer if, and stuff if, like that. In any way, shape, or form, I could be a part of this. It doesn't even have to be with them. Like, like I could be a part Whoa. of this. I don't know. You need an interviewer. I don't know. Just hit me up. Who speaks a better Spanish? You Are know. you sure? Positive. We read Spanish the other day, and Loki, I got it a little bit better than you. Maybe. Yeah. Just. A ver, hablen español. We can do that. We can do the rest of the episode of Spanish. Hazlo. Let's, let's do it. Lo está haciendo. Ahorita? Sí. Okay. Yeah. De veras? De, de veras? No me digas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but overall, this shit is fire. No, hablen español. No, nah, I don't want to do that right now. Okay, <laughs> see? So, if you need a host. Wait, okay. Aside from Banda Macho, if you could interview one group. Who would it be? Oh, like one of these? Yeah. 
rieleros. If it's the ones that I'm talking about, because I know there's like a lot of the like they, a lot of them take on there's rieleros del norte, oh, okay, okay. rieleros de Tijuana, right, Angie? Am I fucked up or not? Are you with me? Who's no, back me up? I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're All wrong. right. Well, I thought there was like more than one rieleros. What is a rielero? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be rolling my art or not. Um, so you probably are the better It'll be them. speaker. Yeah, because they have the song called Columpio, and I fucking love that shit. Honestly, I would go with... Damn, I would go with either Los Tigres del Norte or Los Angeles del Azul. Los Angeles Azules. Los, Los Angeles Azules. Um, Banda El Recodo, hell yeah. Bronco to tell him what is it like being in a novela. Because wasn't that one dude in, no, in the novela? <laughs> Te presumo. Oh, my God. I used to sing that to the bitches back in the day. Oh, God. All right. I well, I think we, we've spent a lot of time on this, so thank you for this. Thanks. Thank you for doing this. Besame mucho. Coming in December, we're going to try to be there. Yeah. We're going to try to find your way in there. Edgar Report. Yeah. There's a, a rapper who I'll, I just got hip to. Not going to lie. I'm not going to act like I've known about him for a long time. His name is Yeet. <clears throat> He's um, from Orange County originally and then moved to, like, Oregon. And like our editor, Jose. Exactly. Just like Jose. Same life path. Uh, and he had a show at the Roxy this past Sunday and shut down all of Sunset, Sunset right there in West Hollywood. Filled with Edgars. Street littered with Edgars. Wow. And they were all waiting to see Yeet. Apparently, like, people, I'm not saying it, but people tag him as, like, a Mexican Playboy Cardi in a way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so... It's like that real turn up, really aggressive crowd. You know, I think they got too rowdy. And then so um, the police shut the whole shit down. Yeah. And yeah, all the Edgars had to like go home. But there was like a lot of good content of just like all the people in line. And you just see like the most editor, the Edgar. And you're just like, what? Like you wouldn't think they would listen to that music. But I think they look at him and they're like, oh, shit, he's Mexican too. Fuck it. We're riding with him. We like the music. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I've listened to a little bit of it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's not something I would listen to on like a regular basis, but. You feel me? It's just crazy that he shut down the whole shit. Like, does he identify as Mexican? Like, is that why they, they like, there's uh, a lot of Edgars there? Or? I don't know. I feel like he says like he says he is, but oh, okay. I don't think he's like. But he he's mixed. With, he, yeah, he's mixed. He's yeah. Mexican and Armenian. Romanian. Romanian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Where did his parents meet? That's a good Orange County. Orange County. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> <what> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, yeah. Irvine. Yeah, Irvine. Yeah, he was born in Irvine. Yeah. Is there Romanians in Irvine? They're mostly Middle Eastern, like the blue ones. Mm, that's what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that was yeah. uh, that was what the Edgars repped on Sunday. Yeah, well, Josh thinks he's an industry plant. <laughs> he could be. Why, Josh? Uh, I don't know. It just it seemed like I never heard of him, but he's like a fucking pop star. Right. Yeah, yeah, he had like the number one album in the country when he dropped it with like hardly any promo. Oh, yeah. And isn't he over Lil Durk? He wow. was. Wow. Right. Yeah, with so albums. he's just making a big impact. <laughs> but he, he could be. Who knows? Imagine if they planted him though, like an Edgar. Romanians? An Edgar attractor. Like, wow. What wow. do they want? What do they want to do with the Edgars? Yeah. What if they wanted all those Edgars? Because Roxy's small as fuck. Yeah. Super. What were they gonna do with yeah. the Edgars in the Roxy? Yeah, and too many Edgars showed up and they couldn't all fit yeah. in the Roxy. Too much energy. What yeah. happened with the, all their mamalones? <laughs> Just, where did they park their truck? I know, because <laughs> the parking there are low, so they yeah. for sure had to smack their truck. And Edgars don't like smacking their truck. <laughs> <laughs> right, now that I'm, right now that I'm thinking about it, industry plan means that you don't, you... And what they, does, what does it exactly means mean? like they, the label picked you up and made you and then fed you to the people versus you had growing your fan base and you like coming up or whatever. It's kind of like they put their money behind you and basically Boosted maybe your yeah. numbers and, and everything. it's literally not because it's like I like you because you were fed to me versus I like you because I found you. I'm a fan of you. Someone put me up on you yeah. shit like that. I never knew what that meant until literally right and now. And a lot of times that does happen. When the story of the artist isn't necessarily necessarily a story, right. it's about the numbers that they're doing. Facts. I Facts. always notice that. It's like, Some would argue, and I think we've had the discussion that Baby Kim is a little bit of yeah. an industry plant yeah. because they're saying he's from out here, but he's also from Vegas. So it's like, what's wrong with the story? Why is the story the not matching? The backstory is like, never just, clear. Like it's never. Yeah. It's really on point. Okay, so I, I read something where they said like Lil TJ was like that. Like I didn't know about Lil TJ till he popped off. No, uh, like an industry plan would be like DDG. 
Kind of. Well, he was like a kind YouTuber. Of, because he was a YouTuber. I don't and know. And then they saw they saw his numbers. But he was And then they brought him into the music industry. Huh? So yeah, he had prior fame in, in a different industry. But the same, like, Catch Me Outside Girl. Like her, she was an artist. They found her numbers and then they brought her in. I know. I could see part. how they can ma- they can make like the Catch Me Outside girl was like popping on social media, so she she's like gonna have a song. And just because those followers are gonna fuck with her, where industry actually means the labels do it, not like the people or whatever you're following. The labels like kind of pluck you. And they kind of put their money behind you, so automatically you're gonna get radio play without your song even re- being really good. Or I, see that kind of I, see base. I see what you're like, saying. I see what you're saying. Like that, like you're gonna get all these deals, and it's like, dog, did you even deserve them? Yeah. Whereas Where we've kind of seen, from? I think even with social media now, we get to see artists hustle and struggle from the come up. And so that's why it's like when someone pops up out of nowhere, it's like, hold on, where's Where your were story? You? Yeah. yeah, where'd you come from? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I was, I was always hella come. Okay, I was always and hella I think confused. Just me and Vic, gen- and I know Maximo doesn't feel this way, but me and Vic have a weird feeling about Keem. And normally, like, like we're aligned on this feeling. Yeah. Like, something's he's off here. No. no, but he's PG supposedly line. related to Kendrick. He's like Kendrick's cousin. But also, yeah. there's, like, just some weird of, like, are you from Vegas or are you from here? Because if you go back enough... It's an artist that was coming up out of Vegas, but maybe that didn't fit for like that didn't help his marketing. Yeah. So now they had him as an artist from the West Coast. So it's just weird, like. And when they're just. Is it weird that I'm confused? Kim goes hard. Kim, I mean, we're not saying he doesn't, but. I can say he doesn't. Like he doesn't go that hard. Like for for the steam that they're getting, does he go hard? Like I don't know. Like which like is it balanced? I don't. I'm not necessarily sure. I like his songs with Kendrick. I mean, Definitely I think those like are the, the songs. Baby Kim is the one that had the song. And prior to this album, yeah. he still had hype, and we were like, "Why is there so why much hype?" Why is he hype? so big? And why are the numbers like that? Baby Kim is good morning, good morning, good morning thing, right? That Kendrick did the good morning, top of the morning, <laughs> top, top of the morning. Top of the morning. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> top of the morning. Top wow, the morning. yeah, I never fucking heard of him till then. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I guess that's an industry. And so before but. he had an orange soda song. Yeah. And that was oh, kind that of was like the best, the best. Orange sodas with Kendrick, but a lot of times they get bigger than maybe they're supposed to because they have a lot. They Okay, they, I see they what have you're a saying. Lot more gas poured on their flame faster yeah. than they would have otherwise. Is there is, is as versus someone that's consistently bringing out good songs and may not even still reach that threshold? Which you can also say like, hey, don't hate the player, hate the game type of deal. It's mm-hmm. like, dog, it's not my bad that you're not more popping. And it's like, you, it's true. Or that sometimes people. But are then there's close. something about feeling. There has to be that connection, and I just think being the the music nerds. And literally, I mean, Vic rarely like align on an opinion about yeah. a certain person or theme or concept or hip hop shit. But we were both like, "Is Kim a little bit weird? It's a little bit weird." And Loki were eating it like, but it's just still a little bit weird. Is there any rappers from back in the day that were maybe industry plants? At Loki feel they were all industry plants. If you put it that way, an industry plant was given to us by a label before we didn't find music. Yeah. Oh. We didn't find you so labels was, fed us music. So there's, there's like this this is gonna be super nerdish and shit. But there was after Snoop left um Death the Row, hell? there was a guy named Top Dog. But not actual not Top, Top Dog, Dog, but it was like a rapper that looked just like Snoop, sounded just like Snoop, and was pushed as to be the next Snoop. Cause Suge felt like, oh, I could just find another one. Mm. And that was essentially like an industry plant. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't because he was like super dope. He's manufactured to be. He was like, be, oh, let's. This is yeah. my new Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, it didn't go anywhere because he wasn't as talented as Snoop. And then it's like we already have Snoop. Why do we need another one? But here's like a weird thing to even think about because a lot of our quote unquote old heads talk about like how before like there's industry plants now or like people don't know how to choose like artists or the shit's whacker but before or even if you want to talk shit about labels now or whatever it's like but back in the day we were the most fed we didn't find the artists we liked Mm -hmm. we were fed them from radio stations and from labels right we were just eating up we were fed like our choice of favorite artists is what they gave us yeah. versus now i could go online and find who my favorite artist it. is we would never hear a- like before like if, oh if, anything, if anything before we had 
less um it's called like autonomy or like free will of yeah. choosing what we were what we were backing or listening to because the only thing we listened to was the stuff on the radio or tv which was chosen by labels mm -hmm. kind of like let's say before you were gonna eat whatever i fed you right now you have the option to order online Grubhub, or to order da -da -da. like or but and so let's say i'm a label uh, your favorite food was either spaghetti or pizza because that's what i fed you but now you have a trillion options because you can get it yourself but it's like i don't know more so the choice is yours now yeah. and i just think it's like a weird like if we really thought about it the old heads were more uh fed than anything yeah oh my god we we're more like i don't know like i don't want to say manipulated but, but we we're more like yeah the fed. Thing was that back then artists came a lot more prepared because they had to go through like a year or Different two of, channels. Oh, of yeah. underground artist development. artist development before we even heard about them they already had like two three years under their belt of like training and being like okay you perform like this you rap like this you're gonna get in the studio with this person that just sounds like uh, like a fucking like you know when you said like a like a boot camp yeah mm -hmm. is that really is that kind of what it was yeah big labels Before, yeah. okay there was a lot of artists that just never made it example. out of the label so okay like as an example so i know like jay-z started his career late right Mm -hmm. they, does that mean it doesn't he, that he didn't start his career late, but maybe he was being developed for like no, two, three years? No, Jay Z was also different. No label wanted to sign Jay Z. Oh, okay, okay. So okay, Jay Z right. had to build Rockefeller, funded with street money, and he, that was the first real label started by street fools. That was like, you know what, fuck it. Like the labels aren't gonna sign me. I'm gonna sign myself until Def Jam partnered with Rockefeller, and that's to me that that's like the first showings of like I'm gonna just hustle. You're not gonna sign me, fuck signing you you like he was a first label. independent artist yeah. i'm gonna make my own like, label. i'm a partner with yeah. you guys basically and that was fire like that's why that's, that's street hustler yeah. of jay-z the businessman of jay-z wow okay yeah. that's crazy i, I didn't how are you another mm, that's making me think Trip, is drake yeah. in this new plan no um, no because he was in the grass you know? yeah but also he i think he was part of the first crop that like really got the fan bases outside of like music like late yeah. not even like so to speak labels like he found it online or like i know i first heard of j cole on myspace versus like wow. on the radio mm -hmm. you know like this is like the soundcloud before soundcloud i found like, j cole on youtube yeah, yeah. But we got to find him, right? Yeah, yeah. I Versus found him. Like us, yeah. them getting pushed to us. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, that's yeah. wow. That's I don't why know if I explained it right, but it's a very weird concept. That's to why think those about. stories are always better. Like example, like when J Cole dropped the the little documentary he did, mm -hmm. it, it 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 was so fucking meaningful because of all the shit you see him do. Like yeah. when it was when he was living in that apartment and he was like, yeah, in, have you seen the Kanye West dog? I haven't seen it. I like it that for, for that fire. part. Okay, like, you're okay. gonna see his hustle and how no one wanted to sign him for, or yeah. like, just they were kind of like overlooking him. Or how Jay Z barely like acknowledged him at that party. Yeah. wasn't that crazy? It's fun. It just showed, but it shows me the consistency of Jay Z that he didn't fuck with him then, and he like Loki's just reverting now to how he felt about him in the beginning. I feel like Jay Z just saw like, oh, this ain't my type of dude. This is more like Dame's type of person. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep my distance. But we all thought they were like this just because that's outside looking in. Mm -hmm. But it's like when you look at it like that, you see that Jay-Z, ju he's just being himself. With, yeah, he's just keeping that arm's distance yeah. from him. Wow. Yeah. All right. Shout out hip-hop. Shout out hip-hop. By the way, is the Kanye album out yet? It's yes, yeah, it's, I'm streaming right now. You're streaming on it's it? Actually, is your, we, do you have your stem, stem player? player? Well, he's streaming it on YouTube right now. But do you have your stem player? Do Let's see it. Come on, Juanito. Well, I have to update it. Well, oh. then update it. Update it. To your laptop, no? No excuses, Juanito. You are fucking. Um, Is that the next? Uh, that was a core cooler. You are. Yeah. You are outreach segue. to the to the Dondas. To the Dondas. Core cooler, let the the aliens. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Kanye stem player. I mean, Ka Donda Two is only playing on Kanye stem player. Yeah, and the stem player costs two hundred bucks if you buy it from the website. If it's not sold out, resell value is going to be insane for that. Thing. So it's not going to be on any streaming platforms, right? Not even YouTube. And reportedly, allegedly. So it's not going to be on any streaming platforms. The only way you could listen to it if is if you update the stem player. I'm sorry. You're not sorry, Juan. That was a good catch. All right, so Juanito, our this intern little... Juan, that literally is low key a drug dealer because he has all the cool <laughs> shit and expensive shit. He has a stem player. He brought right it. Here. And yeah, I just want to let uh, you guys know that we made really fun good. of him because of this. Yeah, we made and the fun of him. He, bought it, he was ahead of his time. He bought it yeah. like two, three months oh, yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. And, and in the minute Kanye said that 
it was gonna come out only on the step play down the two. He the first thing I said to the group chat said, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, like, stupid yeah. now. <laughs> it's low-key crazy. Like it it's vibrating right now. What do you do you use this for anything else besides the stem? <laughs> uh, I'm just asking a question. Look, do you feel it's vibrating? <laughs> Maybe it's updating right now. It's getting, it's getting like Kanye. a Yeezus, a Yeezus yeah. ultra light beam. Kanye, get over Kim. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to, perro. She wants ski, <laughs> not ye. <laughs> get over it, fool. We're gonna the Donda. Imagine it was a two-way device, like it Thanks. went straight to, to Ye. I think it's cool, though, fool. Like I'm not buying this. I don't ever want to say this to an album like this. It's cool for the Kanye fans that bought it already, like Juan, because it like now puts it to use. You didn't just waste your $200. Um, it's actually good for something. So the whole album is going to be on here? And But there's no display screen, so you just have to like... Guess you don't know the, the names of the songs. This is like when I was like broke and had like a mp3 player but not an ipod mm -hmm. and i was just like... I didn't say the name or anything, you just go... Yeah, it was next, just, it next, was just next, press next. play. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was like a shuffle. I don't know how I feel about that. See, yes, I think it's kind of cool. Is it really loud or is it kind of like low? It's decent. It's decent. decent. I mean, it has Bluetooth. You plug it in. It has so option. essentially, like, if I'm in my car, I can I plug this in, and it'll connect, and then I can listen to it in my car. Yep, that's pretty cool. That I think cool. it's dope of an artist, and like Kanye is always revolutionary to sell hardware with their music. Right. I think that's pretty genius, and I think a lot of other artists are gonna start doing it. Like, imagine Drake sold, like, a perfume that came with his yeah, album Yeah, you know, it, in theory, it's good. But, yeah. like, I know that artists have given USBs, you know? And it's like, yeah. You lose USBs. Like, yeah. I think when um, J. Cole did 2014 Forest Hills Drive and he was letting everybody listen to his album, he put it on iPod Nanos, like, on the small little oh, square yeah. ones and Beats headphones. And That's they could just cool. walk around the house listening to the wow. album. Wow. Yeah. Um, with that. I, think it's, um, I like the concept. I'm gonna say cool, like but it's gonna be on it's gonna be on Zippy Share in like 20 minutes. Oh, facts, facts. on Media Fire, yeah. and people are gonna download it and you get it for free. You can't escape the internet age. They're yeah. gonna find a way. They're gonna rip to this shit real it. quick. I think it's I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's he cool. sold 67,000 for 200. That's 13.4 million. Fuck. Good for him. See, fuck, so fucking bad. genius. It's good for him. But I do think that in, like, let's talk business, right? What he makes off clothes is probably way more than yeah. that off a drop. Yeah. I just think he's in a he, he, he's in a, he's in a space right now where he's super just fucking anti-everything. And, like, I get it, fool. You're going through shit, but, like, we don't have to pay the price, bro. Do you think he's faking that, by the way? Sometimes? Is this a new Donda shit? Oh, okay, okay. That's crazy that you can just hear the beat. It's okay, cool when he did the Vicente Fernandez shit. Oh, yeah. This is cool. But I wouldn't want to buy it. I'm going to wait till Santi Ali has their version. <laughs> 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 the donde? The donde? <laughs> the donde? Because <laughs> this looks like something I can buy. Fucking, look, it has flashing lights. Oh, wow. Forget Mira, this. vibra. Ira, ira. For like, it was me in high school. Yeah. I was a cool kid with the speaker that had, like, the clip. Oh, and shit. I was just bumming. Everybody would be like, oh, you're oh, cool. Yeah, we have wow. a speaker right there. How cool. Here you go, Juanito. Juanito, can you buy me one? Juanito. No, my birthday just passed. I can have this one? You're the sweetest thing in the world. You're so nice. That is the definition Thank of Debo. You. Diba. <laughs> Diba. <laughs> I'm down now. I'm like... <laughs> what chain? <laughs> we. All right. So me and my stem player. Cool. Thank you guys. Thank you for this. Uh, I was reading this thing that now old school Apple devices are upselling because now it's cool to have like retro iPods, retro what? iPhones or whatever. And they're reselling for thousands of dollars. No way. Yeah. Yeah, I think one was up to twenty four thousand dollars, and out. it was just an old school iPod. So if you have, I still have like old electronics I never like turned in or whatever. Having a Nintendo sixty four. Go that shit. <laughs> Yo, the iPhone killed the iPod. It's, isn't that crazy? Like it cannibalized it. Because when the remember the iPod Touch, yeah. that was so fire. But it was like, why not just get an iPhone? Because why, why are you gonna have an iPod Touch and a phone? And the phone. It was kind of you know. Do you remember when Apple forced the U two album on us? Oh, I remember the that. YouTube the YouTube album. Worst thing yeah. in life. Wait, what happened? They, uh, like, if you bought an iPhone at a certain time, 
uh, it came with the album downloaded of YouTube. Of YouTube. YouTube put an album together. YouTube. 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 Not it's YouTube. a band. It's YouTube. It's like every old. time you connect your phone to Bluetooth or anything, it was the first song that played no matter yeah. what. Are they about a band? No, it's just not some shit. Like we would probably listen to. It was a decent to. album. But it was just forced on everyone. So like, yeah. yeah, you know. <laughs> you had to listen wow. to it, not by choice. Yeah. You, you couldn't pause it. <laughs> you couldn't delete it. You could pause it. Well, oh, yeah, you damn! Check it. this out. Check this out. One fourth generation red and black special edition, released in partnership with the band U2 iPhone. Is now going for ninety thousand dollars with the YouTube. What? With the you, if you had the iPhone that has the fucking YouTube album on it, that's stupid. Sell ass it album. for you ninety grand. That it, this that will make it worth it. Wow, that shit was fucking annoying. Cause it would also sometimes when you plug it into the like, the the thing, it would automatically play. <laughs> Did he just say that? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're, really, you're yeah, no, yeah. Like, <laughs> it was annoying as fuck though. It yeah. was really fuck, annoying. Fuck, but that shit happens when you have CarPlay. It plays the English by the alphabetical order. Oh, yeah, the first song? Well, I hate CarPlay. I gotta, like, turn on my settings so my messages don't show over driving. Why? Um, this is wild. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> There's, like, the Pokemon cards that are, like, reselling or that you could sell. I don't know what you guys said. I'm reading. ¿Qué dijeron los güeyes? Nothing. Dilo otra vez. I was saying that I hate CarPlay. Okay. Yeah. No sé. Please, guys. I know I hate CarPlay because, like, you got to put, like, a certain setting. So, like, if they text you, and, like, you feel me? You don't want nobody to see your text messages. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a thing, fool, for real. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't going to lie. I'll be lying. I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to Brownback. But I'm not like, coming to Brownback. <laughs> <laughs> don't use me as your, your... I don't use you. I use us. Um. <laughs> no, no, but I ain't gonna lie. I do it the homies. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Now he's back live. He's like, without no, 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 no. the mic. I like, never lied though. So when I'm tired, I be telling the homies like, damn, I gotta go film, better. Oh, they be like, do your shit, fool, do your shit. And I'm, <laughs> it's yeah. like, damn, there's no episode this week. <laughs> now, once I went to the homies, was like, if I think you're with Letty. And I'm like, what you mean? They're like, she with her kids. <laughs> and I'm like, that's old. <laughs> Those are old. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. She's having flashbacks. Man. She misses her kids because we film so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. All right, did we run through everything? I think we ran through everything. Did you think it was cool or cool? You thought it was cool? I thought it was cool because I just got one. <laughs> Juan, Juan's had a, such an awkward life. Juan's, Juan's <laughs> like, damn, Desto Dub don't take my shit. <laughs> I was going to understand the joke because he, he knows Desto Dub. No, because he works for him too. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, anything coming up? Any weekend plans? Any week plans? Um, oh, how about Trevor there on Saturday if y'all want to come? <laughs> Brought back baddies. It's my dad's birthday. Shout oh. out my pops, turning 49. Wow. Yeah. Dang, he's almost at the 50 piece. Almost, yeah, next year. Wow. What about you? Uh, Probably not, like kid shit. Kid like, shit. Mom. Can we? Okay, so my birthday's coming up, right? Yeah. Oh, you guys? Brown bag? My birthday's in two weeks. Wow, your birthday's in two weeks. He's going to be 22. 22, boys. Deuce, deuce. deuce You're going to be 22? <laughs> On 22, isn't it his gold year or some shit? 20, yeah, he's born in the year 2000. Have you ever? No, but like when you're born, like I when think the that's year, 25. Like it's, no, it's 2022. You, it's 2022 right now. The year is 22, and he yeah. turns 22. Yeah, yeah, but I do that for the last for every I'm, year. He's I've done that for every last year. He's born in 2000, so it's always gonna be like that. <laughs> Mind blowing. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> does he not know I, I, I did this for the last 22 years? Yeah, like when I was one, it was a one. When I was two, it was a two. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you I gotta think. play Taylor Swift that day. Yeah, why? Well, what did she do? I'm feeling 22. <laughs> I ain't never heard that bullshit. But I'll listen, I'll, I'll do it. It's a good All song. All right, what's the plans for your birthday? Okay, so just let me let, let, let me run it through. On Wednesday's my actual birthday, so I gotta go with the fam. They wanna take me out to eat, film me do some crazy shit. On Saturday, I'm hosting a club. You, you, you have a choice. I have three days I'm hosting. Okay. You gotta come to one of them. Yeah. On Saturday, Friday, no, Thursdays, Friday, Saturday. And you know Jorge loves you, so we're going. Yeah, yeah. but if 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 you which had a choice, which is the club that has the ugliest girls? <laughs> That's the one I'm taking that, Jorge to. That's what I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you and Chicken Nugget. 
<laughs> Why you gotta lie? <laughs> Which one is it? She'll fly in on my birthday yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? We'll be together. Doing? We'll be together. What are you doing here? Bobby D booked me. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby D presents Dino's birthday. Bobby D presents. <laughs> Bobby D didn't have Linda interview. Wherever for my those, birthday. wherever those donjas were serving. <laughs> no, but yeah, <laughs> but you should come to the one in the OC on Saturday. Uh, Heat. Heat. Okay, uh, but I also want to have a brown bag birthday for you. Because we're family too. Well, that's and it could be a, a lunch or it could be a carne asada. It, could, it should be our own shit. I I I look him. I do some shit on Sunday. Yeah. So like my mom could cook and all the homies yeah, come and all the homies. But like yeah, yeah. us, like I know yeah. your crew. And yeah, for sure. And everybody, home, everybody yeah. come. Yeah. Just just know it's gonna be a whole week full of footage and content on Tuesday. I want something where Aiden. And Jorjito Me Fuck shit up I, I, I don't is, is, is that a good idea For you I and my it's sister it's a great idea Okay I'm for, I'm for it's it Yeah <laughs> Like they just look at each other Like the Spider-Man Like Yeah <laughs> The you <laughs> Do we jump off this trampoline Or no yeah. You wanna fuck up this jumper Yeah Should we fuck up this kid right here <laughs> Oh, Maximo's son too. It's gonna be oh, a three of them like this. Like I this. want something where all three can be together. Cause Max is crazy. How old is Jorito? Four. How old is Max? Three. And yours is Aiden's older, right? He's like six. Seven. 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 It's oh, fine. Okay, okay. It's oh, so fine. it's gonna it's perfect. It's perfect. Like it's, it's gonna be it can lead the way. Small, medium, large. You know yeah. what I mean? Like let them let them live. Let them just be. House is gonna go on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we come into the kitchen. They're just like <laughs> they're all blaming each other. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun week. We're filming on March 8th here. We're filming his fake Rolex that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he has a fake one too. <laughs> <laughs> he has a, a model in case we're getting around. Y'all got fake Rolexes? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I wanna do that. I'm excited for yeah, my birthday. Too. I don't know, I feel like 22 just sounds hella weird. Like, yeah, I don't know. That's good. You're good. That's gonna be great. Feeling 22. So yeah, okay. That's awesome. That's dope. Can we say bye? Do we have anything else we want to get off our shist? No, I think that's it. Lakers. Okay. I don't want to talk about the Lakers. Hopefully we do. Fuck. Hopefully we turn it around. Hopefully we get a number one draft pick or something. Dodgers. Dodger baseball's coming back. I think Rams. they're in a lockout. Hopefully they're running back. Hopefully they don't. Raiders. Like Raiders. 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 Life. Raider gang. Raider nation. Raider nation. Chargers. What the fuck is that? Indifferent. <laughs> Just indifferent. Clippers, what the fuck is that? Kings. The fuck is that? <laughs> Angels. The fuck is that? <laughs> Any OC news? My the and mommy? fuck is that? Shout out to Clippers. Oh, oh, we even forgot to mention up. them. All right. All right. Yeah. You guys, episode 34. 34. Canal 34. Canal 34. Yeah. Oh, Canal 34. Telemundo. Food. Telemundo. Or we need one of those. <laughs> we Thank out. you guys for rocking with us. Shout out to you. Brown bag, we out.